Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. We're back with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores the sky. In the last episode, we discovered a cave behind one of the nearby waterfalls. And then we were met with an ominous announcement that Chapter 6 would involve Team Skull. So, uh, let's hope we don't have to go all the way to Alola. <laughs> So, uh, you may have noticed that uh, some new options open up. Using wireless communication, you can trade stored items with a friend or exchange team data with others. It's uh, not really something we can do, again, due to this being on the emulator. Oh well. Say hello to Buck! <laughs> He is now a member of the team, as it should be. Ahem. As I was explaining, there is a lake far to the east. Yes, we also heard that the guild would be going on an expedition pretty soon. These are exciting times. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild is planning a mountain expedition for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please! Yes, sirree! It's been a long time since we went on an expedition. But, that means you're going to be picking members for the expedition from all of us again, right? Precisely. We'll depart in several days. Over these next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. The chosen members will form the expedition party. Everyone work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Yup, yup. I'm yet to go on an expedition. I'd surely love to go this time. <coughs> Let's work at it and get picked as members! Alright everyone, it's back to work as usual. Hooray! Ah, you two. Today I want you to check the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board and handle the list of jobs. That'll do for now. Alright, so, whoops, can see that, uh, Buck hasn't really changed a whole lot since, uh, since his own adventure, but that's fine, because we are going to make a man out of him. <laughs> well, maybe. His IQ uh, is a bit higher than Daniel and Abram, because unlike us, he has not been a... He has not been stingy with his gummies. Status checker. Uh, avoids causing status problems if the target already has the same status problem. Non-trader. Uh, prevents a confused or cowering Pokemon from hitting its friends. Cowering is a status effect we have yet to see, but when it takes effect, all of your attacks will be launched backwards. It's pretty weird. So today they want us to work on the uh, jobs listed on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. Let's try to do as many jobs as we can. Then they'll have to pick us for the expedition party. Let's go check now, Daniel. Look, those Pokemon, it's Sonic and Tox. Hey! You two! Huh? That duo. Wait, haven't we seen them before? <coughs> Whoa! Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. I remember! There's two crooks who stole my relic fragment! What are they doing here? Whoa ho! I'll have you know that we're an exploration team too! <laughs> What's so funny about an exploration team checking out the job bulletin board? What? You're an exploration team? That's right! The way we operate isn't always by the book. 
But what a surprise! Why would you be here? We wanted to become exploration team members. That's why we're training at this guild. What? You want to become a real deal exploration team member? You, come with us for a second. What is it? Now don't take what I'm about to say the wrong way. You should just forget about being on an exploration team. What? Why? Well, you're timid. You scare easily. A scaredy cat like you can't cut it on an exploration team. But... It's true that I'm timid. But that's why I'm in training, so I can overcome my own shortcomings. Even now, I'm working hard to be picked for the guild's expedition. Oh? An expedition, you say? <laughs> well, effort only gets you so far. You won't get picked for the expedition party if you don't have talent, right? It all comes down to talent. Pure talent. Big talk. You sure talk a lot about talent, but what kind of skills do you have? You are so weak, we even beat you. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. Well, we didn't have the chief with us. Chief? <laughs> That's right. Team Skull, our exploration team, has three members. Our chief is incredibly talented. To put it bluntly, he's brutally tough. <laughs> if the chief were around, we'd snap you like a twig. Whoa-ho! Speaking of the chief, I can smell him coming now. Smell? Here's the chief! Meet Stanky! Moo, out of the way. Oh, Daniel! Ugh, what's this awful stench? Eek! It reeks like rotten cheese! That is foul, yes sirree! Hey, hey, my eyes are burning! Move it, or do you want to end up like that wimp over there? Oh no. Chief! You show them, Chief. You're the best. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you two, did you sniff out any jobs that'll bring in the cash? The yeah, job bulletin board only posts a cheap task, but... There's something else, Chief. It's got the potential to go big. What? An expedition from the guild. That does sound tasty. Doesn't it? Let's get out of here. We need to do some plotting. Come on, we are going. Yeah! Where are you all staring at? This isn't a public performance! <laughs> See you around, Wimps. Are you okay, Daniel? Great, doesn't look like you're injured. That sure was rough, though. I couldn't work up the courage to challenge him to his face. Even though I hurt you, Daniel. I'm so ashamed of myself. You're right, I am a wimp. A big chicken. Oh uh, no. You're getting better. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Daniel, but... but I really am a wimp. Yeah, but it's nothing new for me. I decided that I can still do my best even if I'm not very brave. I'm not going to give up over something like this. I'm going to be cheerful and keep trying. Thank you, Daniel. For now, we better keep working like we've been doing. They were supposed to handle the... Yeah, we already knew about that. Let's keep at it, Daniel. Hey there, Buck. Ugh! What an eye-watering stink cloud! Now don't you all look at me like that. Gosh, it's not nice to stare. My golly, I tell you, it has nothing to do with me. No siree. <laughs> so yeah. Buck is on the team. <clears throat> so a little bit more background about Abram that I uh, neglected to mention before. Abram is the eldest son of the Aster Clan, a family of Pikachu originating from the Windy Continent. You know, uh, Barum Town, the uh, Mount Freeze, the Nine Tails, all that sort of stuff. For generations, they've guarded a tower called Scala Ad Kylum. It's a tower set to stretch into the heavens, and at its top, there is a sacred artifact called the Rainbow Star. 
Now, the deal with the Rainbow Star is it's said to grant the unlimited power of the cosmos, whatever that means. Only the Aster Clan really knows for sure, and their duty is to protect the p protect the tower from villains and keep the Rainbow Star from falling into evil hands. This would end up becoming the primary conflict in Book 2 when uh, John and his brother James had a bit of a falling out over the Rainbow Star. But uh, that's probably a story for later. How does Abram fit into this? Well, his parents thought that he wasn't quite fit to be the next Guardian because... As he has mentioned, he's kind of a chicken. So, they recommended he go on a journey to discard a true courage, and his mother gave him this relic fragment. She was her, she was an accomplished adventurer herself, and she hoped that having the relic fragment would inspire him to discover his secret. And along the way, he would discover what it really means to be a hero, or even a guardian. So that is what Abram is doing here on the grassy continent. That being said, let's say we get out here and, uh, take on some missions. <coughs> oh, a customer, is it not? Good day, is it not? The new shop, Spindus Cafe, is now open. This wonderful shop is overflowing with hopes and dreams, is it not? Hopes and dreams? That's right! Oh, you can't be Lou, you're, you're a girl lava fet, you got the lipstick and everything. Well, whatever. Hey, why not come in? Don't be shy. I don't really know about this. Wanna find out? We have two guests! Wow, this is a big place. Hello, and welcome to Spinda's Cafe! My name is Dizzy. I'm the owner of this cafe. This cafe for explorers... This is a cafe for explorers who enjoy finding new things every day and who are constantly challenging themselves. Cafe for explorers? That's right. It's natural to want to refresh yourself with a hearty, delicious drink after exploring. So we are delighted to provide this service to explorers and we trust it will bring them happiness. Today's our grand opening. Allow me to show you around the premises. This is a juice bar. You've undoubtedly collected gummies and apples during your explorations, am I right? Here, those edibles can become delicious drink sensations. I, Dizzy, will take your ingredient and use my incredible skills to create a delectable drink for you. Really? So if we brought you an apple, you'd make some apple juice? Is that what you're saying? That's right! That is exactly right! That's how it works! While you're enjoying a nutritious drink, you can sit back and share exploration stories. Here's the next facility. This is the centerpiece of our place, the Recycle Shop. I'll let you have a bunch of items in storage that you picked up in your travels and have little use for, am I right? Sometimes you have to throw out your extra items to make room. Doesn't that seem wasteful? There could be explorers and dungeons out there who are desperately in need of the very things you have locked in storage. That's what we thought too. That's why we established this facility. You can bring your extra items here and trade them for items you want. How's that sound? One Pokemon's trash is another Pokemon's treasure, am I right? I thought it would be fun for explorers to gather and trade items with one another. You'll never have to throw out another item. You'll never have to say, what a waste. That's my goal. So if you've got a collection of items you don't need, please make use of our recycle shop. You can even get a bonus prize ticket when recycling items. It's a lot of fun. I know that was a whirlwind tour, but I hope you got an idea of what kind of place this is. Wow, seems like a really fun shop. Thank you very much. It is my goal to have a cafe of hopes and dreams where many explorers can gather. I hope to see you again soon here at Spinda's Cafe. So yeah, let's uh, let's put away some of our items and go grab all those gummies and stat up items. Oh hey, it's Bell. Oh Daniel, were you just at the cafe? Perfect timing. The truth is, I have something to ask of you. In the past, when you've wanted to take team members with you to explore, they wait for you at this watering hole. But now that the cafe is just open, everyone's been saying they'd like to wait while relaxing at the cafe. 
I completely understand that. I mean, I understand how they feel. So, Daniel, what do you think? Would you like to meet up with your team members waiting at the cafe? Thank you, Daniel. I'll make sure to let everyone know. I'm sure everyone will be happy to hear that. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed a secret signpost here. Did you see it, Daniel? Of course you would, Daniel. You must have rung the bell because your team is assembled here already. As you know, when you ring this bell, I come here from the guild. You can still assemble your exploration team here. So when you want to assemble your team, just ring this bell. That's all, Daniel. Good luck exploring. So yeah, let's uh, let's rush on over into storage and see what's up. Let's see. Take out all these gummies. All of these. And um This is a this is quite the shuffle. Uh let's see here. Da, 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 da. Well no. Head over to the cafe. It's phone. Alright. Let's start with the clear gummy. Clear gummies are ice type. So we are going to give this to John because or Abram, sorry. Uh, because it would not have as much of an effect on Daniel. Because fire beats ice. <coughs> Whoa! This is... This is... This drink is so wonderful, so amazing, I couldn't have made it and I tried! It's so incredible and it's a miracle! Never before has a heavenly, super special, incredible, miracle combination flavor like this been experienced! Right now, right here, Abram is enjoying a flavor that is out of this world! Abram's IQ went up! Abram's special attack rose! Wow, wonderful! IQ increased! Grass Gummy! Another one for Abram, I suppose. IQ and attack. I see you are a true connoisseur. It's Lunatone. I noticed the way you tasted your drink, getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet, and I would love to join you on your adventures. A new member joined the team. Cool. Another one for Abram. Ray gummy. Rock type. We are going to give this to Daniel.
<laughs> we got a miracle drink. IQ special attack and double defense. Cool. White gummy, normal type. We are giving this to Buck. Because he is Buck of Olympia. Buck of Olympia. Daniel is looking for you. I've got a good feeling about this drink. PP Saver. Special Attack. And some more IQ. And finally, a yellow gummy. Well, not finally. We still have the, uh, uh, all of the stat up items. Delicious. Alright, next up. Calcium. Let's see. Calcium. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll uh, give these stat up items to Daniel for now. Special attack up. Silver gummy is steel type. We are going to give this to Aaron because uh, Daniel's fire type is strong against steel. Green gummy is bug type. Again, we are going to give this to Abram because uh, our fire type is strong against bug. Status checker. Iron. Defense. This we are giving to our hero. Iron soda. <laughs> Protein is attack. Daniel is currently the uh, physical attacker of the party. With, uh, he's got scratch. That qualifies enough. <laughs> and again, Abram has not learned a quick attack yet. So yeah, a protein shake. Finally, ginseng. I think we we're actually going to save the ginseng. Yeah, I see. There is indeed an effect when you use a gummy. So yeah, uh, we can bring apples, but they don't really do anything. Instead, we want to take the apples to the recycle shop. So, uh, let's round up some items. This all seems pretty good to recycle. Yep. 
don't have... Oh, whoops. Recycle. So, we can get an Orenberry for two apples, or a prize ticket for any other four items. Let's trade in... Let's trade some apples for Orenberries. Oh. Behehe. <laughs> We really only need to have uh, four apples or so, I would say, at a time. And orange berries are always good to have. Alright, now the prize ticket. redeem it for a prize. I'll pick the red card. Right! Red! Is it a win? Is it not? That's right! Is that so? That's not too bad. Well, here's your consolation prize. Scanner orb! That's nice. Alright, let's keep recycling. Is it a big win? And don't tell me. It's a loss, right? That's right! Hey, why not calm down? Sorry you've gotten your hopes up. Why not take this consolation prize? Radar orb. That's nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, do we have enough to get another prize ticket? Why do we have this chesto berry? We don't need a chesto berry. We do, in fact, have enough to uh, recycle for another prize. Yellow! Wow, that's wonderful! I drop seed. That'll come in handy. Maybe. Yup, let's go exploring. Yes, let's. Let's uh, open our job folders and uh, hope we can actually find this lunatone here. And just for the heck of it, let's uh, invite Lunatone along. Alright, let's check out our uh, treasure bag here. We kind of don't really need all this junk lying around in our treasure bag, so let's put it back into storage. say that's pretty good. Let's get going. Oh yeah, before I forget. Oh, it's already enabled. That's fine. We can now go to Waterfall Cave if we want, but... 
We have missions at Drenched Bluff, so let's go there. Of course Lunatone is level 1. So yeah, anytime we are able, we are going to bring Buck along, because that is, he is a, a core member of Team Olympia. Lunatone, not so much. Shellos. You know, I'll send Shellos off to the guild because she has probably already leveled up a good bit. So, the interesting thing about Shellos is that in Diamond and Pearl, uh, the Shellos of the Western Seas and the Eastern Seas are different colors. I don't know how this relates to, uh, I don't know how this relates to uh, the ones in here in Mystery Dungeon, because as we can see, we've just encountered a male and female Shellos that are both pink. And as far as I'm aware, that's the only data flag that uh, these Pokemon have. Alright, we have rescued another Lunatone. But we still have three more missions. Sleep Seed and a Max Elixir. Here's a Shallows. Destination floor. Okay, we found the warp seed. Alright, time to keep moving. Abram. That's fine. He's strong enough to uh, handle Drench Bluff by himself now. Alright, finally the sixth floor. We got an Anorith! If you guys want to name our party members, I am uh, more than welcome to have you name them. Just post in the comments the name you'd, write, you'd like. When I read them, I will uh, apply them. Of course, since I uh, like to record episodes ahead of time, it might not show up right away. So uh, keep your eyes peeled, I guess. I don't know.
Another thing I should mention is that, uh, chapter 6 here in the, uh... Oh, hey, we got another Shellos. Sure, we can have two of them. Here's Poliwag. Not only completed a mission, we completed four. So, uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good right now. Ooh, Reviver Seed. Petcha Scarf. That's very nice. And we are now Bronze Rank. We can keep some more items in storage. We got a Citrus Berry. Uh, when you eat a citrus berry, you get a permanent boost to your max HP. Assuming your HP is already full, otherwise it just restores your HP. So, uh, watch out for that. Cool. Next morning. Up and Adam, it's morning! What is this, Miami Beach? <laughs> but yeah, we've been playing long enough. Uh, I kind of did a lot of talking, uh, a lot of just faffing about in the uh, cafe. But next time, we will uh, continue our usual uh, duties here at the guild. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.